Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sell print on demand products on Etsy using My Designs. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to the left side here of the web page under menu. You'll see the listings tab. We'll click into that. Um, next, if you don't have a collection created, you can create a new one by clicking this home button under listings and then clicking the plus button here and naming your collection here. Um, I've already got one, which is camping POD test. Uh, this is the one we're going to be using for this video. Um, and also, as you can see, I do have all of the data filled out. I did this off video ahead of time just so that I could save some time. So the first thing that I would like to know is that you do need all of your files to be 4500 by 5400 pixels and 300 DPI. Um, this is a common practice across all print on demand platforms um, that helps create the best print quality. So that is something something that you need to do or else you will not be able to upload these to Etsy. So you can actually check the dimensions of your files by clicking file details here where my mouse is located. It'll show you under resolution what exactly it is and as you can see my files are 4500 by 5400 um, pixels. So once we have all of our data populated, the next step is going to be creating some mockups. And we can do that first of all by selecting all of the files within this collection um, because we want to create mockups for every one of these. Um, I'll show you here as they were already all selected, you can just click select all and then you'll see 10 out of 10 designs are selected. So once they're selected, we'll go to more actions, mockups. And we can search here by name of the mockups we'd like, or we can filter by going to clothing. And I am going to use our Bella 3001 mockups as those are the actual shirts that I would be selling in a very popular um, type of shirt online. So next we want to select our read image from slot. Um, this is default selected to your original um, design uploaded, which is our POD PNG. What that means is it's essentially going to pull from here to create the mockup and the right image to slot is going to be where we put this mockup. And we're going to select mockup one here. Next we'll generate a preview just so that we can see it over here before we create them and make sure that it does look good. And I do think that that looks really good on that uh, mockup. So we'll go ahead and click create mockups. And then you can see under active jobs here that it's working. It says 10 designs in queue. And as you can see, it's already done. Um, so we'll filter this here um, by going to mockup one. And then we'll select a grid view here in the top corner just so that we can see them all together. Um, and as you can see, they look really, really good. Ideally, if we're selling these on Etsy, we're going to want multiple mockups. Um, I'm not going to create a bunch um, just for this video, but if I was actually uploading and selling these on Etsy, I would create at least two or three different mockups. Um, what I will do is show you guys another mockup that we have um, for clothing and for this Bella shirt. Um, it's an actual size chart. As you can see, this is the Bella 3001. So we can click this size chart and this will um, put it on every one of our listings when we're uploading it to Etsy. Uh, we can select the color of the shirt. I'm going to do black because it's a white design. And then we can generate a preview to see what it looks like here. So as you can see, that looks really good. And then you'll have a size chart associated with every one of your listings. Um, customers love that as they want to order the right size, obviously, and it will help you and your business so that you don't have a lot of returns when they order something that doesn't fit them. Um, so once we have that, we can just click, click create mockups again, and then you'll see it under active jobs, 10 designs in queue. Um, it should work about as quick as the last one. Um, it just dropped to five. And then once it's done, we'll go select the mockup two and the grid view again so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it puts the size chart with your actual design on it. So this will be on every single different listing on your Etsy store. Now that we have our mockups created and all of our data populated, um, these designs are ready to be uploaded to Etsy. So you do have to connect your Etsy shop and we have a separate video for that if you have not done it. It's very simple. Um, I have connected this one. So all I have to do is go to publish. Uh, we're going to be selling these as products and it shows platforms Etsy. So once we select that, we'll now select our um, shop, which is MDSVG shop. 
and then we'll select our category. We're going to go clothing. Um, we can go gender neutral adult clothing, um, tops and tees, t-shirts, graphic tees. And then from here, it will automatically populate your data that you have filled out. So as you can see, this is my title my description, my tags, and my price. You can also update your price um, a little further down the road. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, but now we'll just click validate and next step. Um, here is where you'll actually select um, your type of shirt you're selling. So we're gonna go to women's clothing, all t-shirts, t-shirts, uh, Bella 3001. So this does say women's clothing, but this t-shirt is a unisex t-shirt. So I know that we put this under general gender neutral adult clothing, um, but this is for men and women. So once we select that, we'll go ahead and select our print partner. Um, we're going to select print for you as that's the only option available. I do want to note that we are working with multiple providers and we'll have um, different options available in the coming months. So once we click our print provider, now we will select our colors. Um, we also can select our mockups that we'd like to use. Um, we have these that default generate if you would like to use them. Um, if you don't want to, you don't have to. If you do not want to use these mockups that we have, you can click this check bar, or check box there and it will take them away. And I'm going to do that as we want to use the other ones we generated that look really nice. And that was mockup one and mockup two. So you can see here we've got our size chart with our design and then our other uh, mockup that we created with our design. Um, then we'll go ahead and select colors. Um, this is a white design, so we're going to want it on dark colors. Um, anything like blue, black, navy, um, dark heather, um, things like that. And then we'll select our sizes and I'll just select all sizes as we do want people to have options. Um, once we're done with this, we will click validate and next step. And then this is where we can do our pricing. Um, we have generated a tool here that makes it really valuable for you to do different pricing, pricing um, tactics. I know a lot of people like to do um, you know, sell a small shirt for less money and uh, an X large for more. Um, you can do that by going here. So we have all sizes selected and all colors selected. And then we'll just go ahead and say 1998 and click apply. So as you can see that updated for every one of our listings and every one of our designs all the way through. Um, so let's say we wanted to use a tactic where we sell the extra small for less money um, than the small, medium, and large. So we, we can change that by going to extra small here. We'll leave it on all colors. And then let's say we want to sell this one for $17.98. We can click apply. As you can see, the extra small is now $17.98 on every single design. Um, and then we'll say we want to sell our uh, 3XL for more money. Um, we can do the same thing here and just go and update it to $21.98 or something like that and click apply. And then as you can see, it's updated on every design. So once we've got this done, we'll just go ahead and click next step. And then this is going to show us a final products preview. It shows us our title, description, our tags, and then our price range here. It shows who our print partner is, Printforia, the sizes we are offering and the colors we are offering. So once this is all done, we just go ahead and click publish and it will show that once again under active jobs. Once this is done, I will jump over to my Etsy shop to show you guys there. So we're on my Etsy shop here now. Um, I do want to note that everything that posts through my designs to your Etsy shop will post as a draft. Um, the reason that we do that is because we don't, or is because Etsy charges a 20 cent listing fee per product. Um, so we don't want to, to just directly upload them from my designs and have it charge you for that. We want you to actually come in and look at your draft and then you can publish them on your own. So these are the ones that we had just published is these 10 right here. These ones were done earlier, the three at the bottom. If we wanted to actually publish these to Etsy, all we have to do is go here, uh, select them all. Uh, we'll deselect these ones because we wouldn't want to um, post those ones with it. Um, but I'll click into one of these listings before we do that so that you can see um, we do have our original mock-up here. We have our size chart. If we scroll down here, we'll see our title, our um, category, our tags, description, 
and you can also see colors here and sizes if you wanted to update these manually you could go ahead and do that um, do that inside of etsy but this is what we did inside of my designs um, where we updated all the prices for um, the extra small and the 3xl so like i said once you're here um, all you have to do is select all of these and go to publish here and then like i said it will charge you 20 cents per listing that's what etsy does so the total for these 10 designs would be two dollars um, i'm not actually going to publish those live but that is how you would do it and that is it for this video i hope everything made sense on how to sell print on demand products um, on etsy using my designs and we will catch you guys in the next one